Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope everybody is doing well. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at who is going to ask you out next. So I haven't done this kind of a read in a little bit of time. Um, so I am very excited obviously to get into it. This is my favorite kind of reading to do. So, um, if you wanted to book a personal reading with me, uh, please make sure to vi visit www.readingswithrally.com. I also wanted to send a huge thank you to everybody who has been liking, sharing, subscribing, um, commenting. It honestly means the world to me. It's such a pleasure to be able to connect with you guys in this way. So today we do have three piles to choose from. Pile one, we have the carnelian. Okay. Pile two, we have the clear quartz. And pile three, we have the malachite crystal. So if you do need more time, please make sure to pause the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with pile number one. Okay. Let's clear the energy off. Hello, pile one. If you chose this carnelian crystal, then this is your reading on who will ask you out next. Let me just go ahead here and tap in. So spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please tap me into the energy of the collective that chose pile number one, please. Who is going to be asking pile number one out? We are asking the spirit guides, angels, and ancestors to just come through and give us the most accurate, clear messages possible. Okay, who is going to be asking pile one out? Who's going to be asking pile one out? Okay, we have the emperor. This person could be in Aries. Sun, moon, or rising. Eight of pentacles. Okay. Um, for many of you, this person could actually be somebody you already know. Okay. This person could, um, you could know them through your work is what I'm hearing here. This person could also be in a position here of power or authority over you. So they could definitely be something like your boss. Um, for those of you uh, who feel like that is, you know, a plausible scenario. I do feel as well this person um, could be someone who owns their own company or who is in a very high up position. Very hard worker here. I am getting earth vibes here, specifically Capricorn. Again, that could be you. That's weird. Do you hear that? Okay, so that's spirit confirming that. Okay, four of swords. So some, for some of you, you could already kind of know that this person has a crush on you, but perhaps they've been sleeping a little bit on the connection. I am really getting, though, that there is a desire to move things forward with you. So for many of you, this person could act shy around you. They might not necessarily feel very comfortable approaching you. You could just notice this person watching you here. Ace of Pentacles. This person does have a lot to offer though, okay? I really do feel that. They could have quite a bit of money. Um, they could also just want to buy you a present here, take you somewhere nice. Like I love the Ace of Pentacles the most actually in a partnership reading because for me it indicates stability. And honestly, there's like a lot of connections that, you know, have passion or there's, you know, love there, but they can't really stabilize. This card to me is a really good indicator here of a stabilizer. For some of you, you could maybe not have talked to this person for quite some time, actually, with the Emperor. We have the Two of Pentacles. This person, I feel, goes back and forth in their head about asking you out. Oh, wow, yeah, look at this. Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and we have the Empress. Wow. Um, so for some of you, this person could actually be someone from the past um, who, you know, you kind of had to walk away from here. This person still finds you incredibly beautiful. And again, there could have been quite some time here that passed without contact. I am hearing that as well. For others of you, this person could have recently broken up with somebody. Um, what's interesting here is we have the emperor and the empress. So this person could have, could be divorced. Um, or this is really saying that for some of you, this is actually like your true counterpart here. Um, because we all know the emperor and the empress are the divine couple of the deck, right? So there's a, a well-matched energy here. So this person matches your vibes and vice versa. So this is really, really beautiful energy. Uh, I do feel like you find this person very attractive. This person just finds you like incredibly attractive, whether male or female. I do feel like this person really puts you on a pedestal. There's a lot of admiration here for you as well. There's a fair amount of like fear here, okay, as well about um, communicating with you. For some reason, this person does feel a bit nervous when they think about that. But this person is very, very, very interested in you. 
you guys might know that, or you might kind of feel like maybe this person doesn't like you as much as they say they do, right? Like I am getting a little bit of a distrust energy here for some of you. Let me use this new deck I just got. This is a Kickstarter deck I got from my friends here in Calgary, a Pranic Forest. Okay, so tell me about this person, please. Who is in, I'm going to ask my pile one out next. I almost said who's in love with you, okay? That was my other like um, suggestion for doing the video today. So this person could be in love with you. You have two of wands. This person is really thinking about coming forward. They wanna come forward quite a lot. Um, I do feel like they're quite in their head about this connection. We do also have here the high priestess. So the high priestess, again, most valuable woman here in the deck, definitely high interest here in moving things forward with you. There's a fair amount of desire here to move things forward with you as well. A lot of secrets here though. So maybe this person doesn't feel like they can tell you we have the Empress. Wow, this person does find you very, very attractive. Holy smokes. I do feel this person and kind of feels that we have the Empress twice. So again, regardless of gender, you are very, very abundant, fertile. Um, there's a creative energy here to you, Nine of Pentacles. Many of you guys are in this classic single, single, I always call Nine of Pentacles the single girl card. Um, so there's really a focus here on your money, a focus here on feeling good about yourself, a focus here on moving things forward for yourself. Like you guys are just really all focused on you. And this person is very attracted to that. That's a very attractive energy to be in. We have justice. This person does also feel karmically like he, they're meant to be with you, okay? We have equilibrium. So this, this person could need to do something in terms of balance. Like they could really be needing to figure part of their life out, you know, or they could be really needing to create more peace or harmony for themselves. This person could struggle with that. We have the six of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person... Um, they could be waiting for time to pass here before reaching out to you. They, they do want to give to you. Specifically, if this person wasn't able to give to you in the past, I do feel a desire that this person has here to um, put their energy back into this connection and really make sure that you feel good about them, okay? Because maybe some of you just don't. Like, I really feel like, for some of you, this is a person from the past. We have the Three of Swords. Heartbreak, heartbreak, heartbreak. This person does feel very much um, heartbroken over you. They really do. There's a lot of sadness here as well. I do feel this person um, wants to come back into your life here. Especially if they are like a person here who, you know, you haven't contacted for quite some time. They still do think about you quite a lot. This person also finds you very, um, you, some of you might be psychics yourself with that high priestess card, but there's a real sense of this person being a little bit intimidated by you here as well. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, I'm getting earth signs here, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, I am hearing Pisces as well. We could have Libra placements, um, specifically Libra in the first house. Okay. Tell me more, please. Tell me more about this person. Who's going to ask my pile ones out next, please, Spirit? Who's going to ask them out next? Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges. So this person could be judgmental. They could have judged you harshly in the past for some of you. I do feel here like you could have pulled your energy away from this person. Um, this person could uh, be in a position here where they have to really judge a lot of people. Like they could have some sort of role where they are needing to really, you know, be very discerning here. This person could have also passed judgment upon you guys, I'm hearing. Or there's a fear here of being judged when they're with you. This person could care a lot about how they look, okay? Or like very, um, like they want to make sure their partner matches their vibe is what I'm getting here. We have forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Interesting. So this person, um, you know, they could be coming forth here to ask you to forgive them. Okay, this is very important. This person feels like they, they need your forgiveness for something. Um, I'm also getting here that this person you know, might have done things in the past that they're not very proud of. And so they're still kind of holding on to that. Specifically, if there was a situation here with you, um, I feel this person is feeling very much like they want your forgiveness and like they need it in order to move forward. 
Now what's interesting here is you chose the carnelian stone, which is personally a stone I associate with, um, you know, feeling creative, feeling sexy, feeling happy, um, sexual energy. So I feel you and this person could have already had a sexual connection or there's sexual chemistry here. We have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So this person is trying to tell you here that they did grow up from this connection. Okay. Um, some of you could have really left this person and told them that they needed to grow up because this person um, wasn't really prioritizing you. And again, this could be a person, you know, from your past. They really want to show you that they've changed. If this is a new person. I do feel like they've gone through quite a lot. Um, and I think this person might not want to share that all with you. They're a little bit scared about what you will think about them. Okay. We have worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So yeah, this person does feel a, a fair degree here of nerves, honestly, in terms of approaching you. I feel this person kind of does feel a little bit frightened about you potentially, you know, turning your back on them or deciding that you're not very interested in actually seeing them here. For some reason, this creates a lot of um, anxiety for this person. This person could be a worry wart, okay? They could be worried as well that you're not going to reciprocate. Um, that's coming through as well. A lot of colors here, okay? So I do feel you guys really connected. This person could have triggered your third eye or they could trigger your sacral or your solar plexus here as well. This is a complex person, okay? They're not like a very um, easy to understand type of person. This person has, has gone through quite a lot. Okay, can I get two light attributes for the pile one's person? So these are positive things about this person. Okay. Okay, so light attribute. This is a blank card. I will pull one more. But whatever, whenever I see this card, because I haven't made it yet, I do feel like this person can be a bit of a wild card. So you guys might be a little bit confused about this individual. Um, do they like you? Do they not like you? There is a sense here of not being really sure about, you know, what this person is thinking. Another shadow, a uh, light attribute here. Is child eternal. Determination to remain young in body, mind, and spirit. Ability to see things with fresh eyes. Beautiful. So this person, you know, they could really be um, a person who has a lot to offer here, okay? They could look younger than they are. This is my card for someone who takes really good care of themselves. So that definitely they could look really good. <coughs> this person could have a child as well. One more, please, for a light attribute for pile one. Wow, we have priest. Holy smokes. It's funny because we did get the high priestess. So perhaps this person is quite spiritual or you guys are, we have facilitate spiritual commitment, serves in a, as a channel of spiritual energy. So this person, they could have a very close um, connection here to the divine, or they do have some sort of spiritual practice. You could know this person through church or through a community like that. Can I get two um, shadow attributes, please, for Pile One's person? I'm just going to ask them out. One more, please, shadow. Thank you. Okay, we have three. I'm going to take all of them. We have Messiah, the shadow attribute. Exaggerated belief that you are the only means through which a cause can succeed. This person could be a bit of a workaholic, okay? I am getting someone here who likes to who likes to feel like they are in control of everything. This person really, um, they could be a little bit of a control freak. They might not want to give up any sort of um, control to anybody but themselves. This person, oh wow, we have judge. This person could literally be a judge, okay? They could work in the legal system because we have judgment here as, <coughs> as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Offering only destructive criticism, misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. Okay, this person... I feel can be very critical, okay? They could have Virgo in their chart. I'm hearing Virgo moon. Or like I said, they just are in a position here where they're often ju judging people quite a lot. So you could really feel this person, that energy rubbing off on you, or you could feel like this person is critical of you. We have mother, shadow attributes. Smothering or abandoning children, instilling guilt in children for becoming independent. This person could have had something happen here as well with their mother, okay? They could have issues um, embracing their feminine side as well. Regardless of gender, this person might not have a very good time embracing that part of them. I'm gonna get some channeled messages here. I'm gonna get some channeled messages. Who's gonna ask Kyle one out next, please? Until 
one more. There we go. Okay. They will call you first. So this person intends to reach out to you. We have just a side piece. For some, for some of you, you're concerned that this person um, is not really interested in you. They're just interested in you sexually. I'm ready to commit to you. But again, this person I feel does want to ask you out. Like they have a purpose here when asking you out. It is to be with you. We have reliable. This person wants you to feel like they, they can take care of you. You know, they really do value coming across like that. That's very important to this person. I'm codependent, obsessive, or controlling. Definitely, we were already getting that kind of control freak type of vibe. We have, I don't know how to fix this. So for some of you, this could be a person from the past. There's two scenarios here, so take which one res resonates. We have our spirit guides are orchestrating this, okay? So this person um, and your, your team, like your, your spiritual teams are really trying to create flow here between you and this person. I have many options and I need to make a decision romantically. So this could also be why you're kind of pull, pulling away from this person because you don't want to be considered just an option. So yes, pile one, that is what I have for you. If that resonated, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's always really wonderful for me to be able to connect with you um, in that type of a way. I really do appreciate you taking the time to, um, you know, click on this reading, to watch this reading, to comment, to just be part of this community. It honestly, I like, I cannot imagine. I can't be grateful enough. Like there's really no words for how grateful I am. So I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Hello, hello, pile two. Welcome to your reading. If you chose this clear quartz crystal, then this is your reading on who will ask you out next. Let me tap into your energy. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please tap me into the collective of those who chose pile number two, please. Those who chose pile number two. Who is going to ask pile number two out next? Who's going to ask them out next? Please come forth. Who will ask pile two out next? Who's going to ask pile two out next? Okay, I keep seeing the ten of wands, so I'm going to take it. Someone here could be feeling very burdened. Okay, five of cups. This could be somebody who um, has disappointed you before or this person has recently gotten out of disappointment. You guys could also be the ones who are currently processing something heart-centered. This person is kind of keeping a step back. Um, they're watching you and kind of waiting for the right time. King of Swords. Um, again, we have air sign here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is very, very smart. They hide a lot of their emotions, though. I do feel that. Who's going to ask them out? Knight of Wands. Could be an age difference here, or you could have two potential people who are going to ask you out. This person themselves could have very strong sexual feelings towards you that they tend to hide or mask. We have the five of pentacles at the ace of pentacles, the two of pentacles. Okay, one more spirit. Who's going to ask pile two out next? The moon. Okay. This person has a lot of fears. Okay, they have a lot of fears in terms of coming forth to ask you out. There is a lot of anxiety that this person does feel. Um, I feel like either you could have gone through something pretty significant here or, or they could. For signs here, I'm seeing Cancer. Okay, so Sun, Moon, Rising. We do also have our air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we have Fire, so Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There's also a possibility here because there's two of Pentacles that you could have two people who are potentially asking you out. Again, though, I don't know, it kind of feels like your energy is not in the most receptive state. There is a, an offer here that wants to be made, but I do feel we have two fives here, right? So you guys could be seeing five, five, five. There's something here that needs to get cleared out first um, because your energy is quite heavy and it's quite dense. And I do feel like these individuals, um, especially if there's two here, they're kind of like biding their time. And there could be fears here as well with the moon of coming towards you. You could be quite triggering. I am hearing um, psychic. So you guys could be quite psychic here in this group as well. But there is a few options and pathways opening up is really what spirit is wanting to tell me here. But it's kind of like, I want you guys to really think, are you even in the right type of um, headspace to pursue a connection? Only you will know the answer to that. And literally there's no judgment either from my part on that. It's just something I really want you to consider here. 
Interesting. Okay, let's get more. I'm going to use this new Kickstarter deck I got for my friends at Pranic Forest. Who's going to ask Pile 2 out next, please? Who's going to ask Pile 2 out next? Who's going to ask Pile 2 out next? You have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so you could have walked away already from this individual in the past, okay? I do feel um, Two of Swords. Yeah, I don't know. I, like, this could be someone from the past you already sort of said no to. Or there's a sense of you really needing to do some inner healing. I'm drawing again to that moon behind her. You guys have really been shifting quite a lot. That's what I'm hearing. We have equilibrium. So there is really a sense here of balance. You're trying to create balance within yourself. Um, I'm keep being drawn here to those two pentacles. And then we have the two of wands here. So again, you guys could genuinely have two options coming towards you. But there's a lot of um, focusing on like, what do I want to create? Okay, what do I want to actually do for myself going forward? And sometimes it's hard, right? Like I do feel like part of you wants to step forward, but the other part is okay with like really waiting to see here. We have Sol et Luna. So this is a card here of um, equals, right? A true pa true partnership. So I do feel spirits wanting to offer you someone here of, of equal caliber to you, someone who is a true equal here. The sun. Some of you could just be feeling like you're not quite ready. Like there could be a lot of movement happening down in the summertime. For some of you, this person could have a son or you could have a child you're watching out for. Or there's just like a sense here of feeling like you need to focus your energy elsewhere. With the Page of Swords. You also have a lot of people watching you, okay? A lot of people really do um, are attracted to the light that you give out. Perhaps you are in the public eye, okay? That's a possibility. But I'm really feeling here that there's a really strong need for you guys to um, pick carefully because I don't know if you're really in this expansive energy where you want to be giving to a lot of people. Who's going to ask them what that's the world? Yeah. There is really going to be a new chapter, though, opening for you, okay? I do want to let you know that. I feel like there could be some fear that maybe this is not going to happen. This person could be Leo. They could also be Capricorn, okay? Yeah, I feel like... Like I'm almost, I don't, I feel like you guys are in your own like personal winter right now. Okay. So there's almost an energy of you not even being very interested in these options. And I am feeling like there's going to be multiple people coming forward. Now with equilibrium and so that Luna, there is going to be someone here who is a, like a very good match to you, but it might take some time for you to actually see this person because you're not necessarily in the state here where you're like, expansive do you know what i mean like you're kind of just kind of narrow narrow focused which is okay i'm seeing a lot of twos here obviously so you guys could be seeing two to two, two as well okay that could be an important code for you i'm just hearing that one of these options wants to offer stability one of these options wants to offer play so i guess it kind of depends on the mood of which you are in let's get more here who's going to ask pile Two out next, please, Spirit. Who's going to ask how two out next? Who's going to ask them out next? Who is going to ask them out next? Who's going to ask my pile two out next? I do feel someone here is very funny, though. Someone could have red hair. I'm hearing J's on my feet. I don't know what that song is. Why is that song stuck in my head now? Someone here could have J's or they're wearing J's right now. Or your person could who's asking you out. They could have quite the shoe collection. Okay, we have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Yeah, I do feel like um, there's people here, you guys have gone through quite a lot and I feel people around you know that. They do know that. And so there's a real sense of respect for you. Someone here could also feel like it's difficult to get to you. We have death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Strong Scorpio vibes here, very transformative energy. Okay, I do feel like um, these connections are really coming in to want to transform you into a, a different state of being, a different state of awareness. We have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So there's a real sense here of like you guys being very much kind of focused on yourself here. You went through something that was quite intense. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Okay, 
So for many of you, okay, I do feel like people around you are very aware of the fact that you have been through so, so much. Um, you guys have really accepted what's happened to you and there's a real sense here of wanting to move forward in a healthy and productive way. Um, I do feel like there's multiple people here who want your forgiveness, but I also do feel like these people coming in who are asking you out, they are really wanting to tread carefully with you because they know that you've been through a lot. Can I get two light attributes here, please, of the person who's going to ask Pile 2 out? So what are two good things about this person? Okay, that's too many. I'm going to take these two. So we have healer. Interesting. Light attribute. Passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit. Ability to help transform pain into healing. So this person could be a healer. They could work with their hands. They could be in medicine or be a natural healer um, using things like acupuncture or herbs. Someone here could be really into Chinese medicine, Ayurveda, okay? So there could be like um, Eastern philosophies as well that this person, this person could be from the East. We have beggar, light attributes, confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakens the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. This person I also feel has been through quite a lot, okay? At least one of these people coming in. They have been through a lot as well. So I feel like this person will feel very much at home with you, okay? Because this person has, you know, really transformed as well. What are two shadow attributes, please? Okay, thank you. We have monk, nun, shadow attribute, negative judgment of the physical world, excess piety. So this person could be spiritual, right? Like they could really struggle here as well with um, issues around money. Um, this person could think money is bad or something like this is coming through. We have mediator, shadow attribute. Negotiating with an alternative, oh, sorry, I can't say that. Negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda, either professionally or personally. So this person, I also feel, can play both sides of the team. So for some, some of you, you could really see that this person is... Something about that energy could be distrustful to you, okay? This person's name could start with an M, Michael, Madison, Monte, Marco. M, M is important here, first or, or, name, or last. I'm also hearing middle, although I don't know how you would know someone's middle name. Let's get some child messages here. Tell me what's going on here. Spirit with Pile Two's person. Who's going to ask them out next? Can we get some messages from this person? Okay, let's take a look. We have I like it rough. Can we have a safe word? So this person is very sexually attracted to you. They do really want to, um, you know, do all kinds of things here to you. This person is very, very interested in that. They're fantasizing quite a bit. Oh my gosh, we have, I'm ashamed of some of my fantasies I never had a chance to explore. So this person could be very rigid, okay? Or they could maybe not have had that much sexual expression. They worry about pleasing you. I'm a player and I love to play the field. Be careful with me. So again, I do feel like there's two distinct energies. One person wants to offer you some sort of commitment or stability. The other person could not care less, okay? So just be mindful. We have bondage. Someone here could be very um, into BDSM. This person could be a dom. I want to set the mood. Say hello to music, candles, the whole nine yards. Um, there's also a sense here of one person wanting to romance you, one person not really being that interested in romancing you. I'm already looking at engagement rings. Holy smoke. So again, someone here does have very strong feelings. I'm an early riser. Someone could have to get up early here for work, or I'm hearing spiritual practice. So someone here could really be spiritually inclined. This one is supposed to say, I have moved on from this connection, but as you see, it's ripped. Um, which to me, when I take a card like that or take a message, it feels like the person's not really sure exactly what they want to do in this situation. So yes, pile two, that is what I have for you today. If that resonated, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, again, thank you so, so, so much for um, being part of this channel. I really do appreciate you, each and every one of you. I hope that wherever you are, you have a really wonderful day, that there's lots of blessings that come your way, um, and that you feel happy, secure, and safe. Bye, pile two. Okay. 
Hello, Pile 3. If you chose this Malachite Crystal, then this is your reading on who is coming towards you next in love. So let me go ahead here and tap in. Clear the energy off. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please come through to help me channel messages here for Pile 3. I'm asking for truth, clarity, and accuracy, please. Who's coming towards, who's going to ask Pile 3 out next? Wait, is that what I, I said? Did I say who's coming towards you in love? I meant who's going to ask you out, but this person could um, fall in love with you. Okay, we have Knight of Wands. Who's, who's going to ask Pile 3 out next? Five of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Okay. Nine of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Cups in reverse. The King of Pentacles. <clears throat> okay. So similar to Pile 2 here, there is two distinct energies coming through here. Okay, one of these is Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. The other is an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. One of these individuals is a lot more interested in a sexual connection. The other one is more interested here in commitment. I do feel the one that is interested here in a sexual connection they could have multiple options here that they're dealing with. Okay. Or of course, I guess this could indicate you, you guys having multiple options here because there's two very distinct um, energies. One of these people is around your age. The other one feels like they are a bit older than you, a lot more established or mature. I feel like um, you guys have been really gaining a plethora of experiences here to help you kind of decide what it is or who it is I suppose you want to end up with. Um, Spirit's bringing you a lot of different options so that you can really learn um, what it is you like and what it is that you don't like. So there's definitely a lot of interest in people dating you. Now, some of you do have a little bit of a blockage here in your heart space, okay? Um, Spirit's really asking that you work on that here as well because that could be why you're attracting people who might be a bit all over the place energetically. Someone's name here could be Anna or start with an A. Someone here likes to listen to genuine. <laughs> like that is so specific, but um, I'm hearing a lot, a lot of genuine in my head right now. I do feel one of these people, though, could be a very, uh, I'm probably picking up on the King of Pentacles, actually, the more stable energy. Feels like there's definitely a sense of being, um, this individual being very transformative towards you. There's a lot of um, interest in really growing towards you or like growing this connection and making sure that it is stable. But Spears really asking you to narrow down with that Nine of Cups. What do you want? Someone could have an animal named Oreo, or they like Oreos. I keep, I feel like a cat called Oreo. Who's going to be asking Pile 3 out next, Spirit? This is my new deck. It's a Kickstarter deck, okay, from my friends at Planet Forest. Who's going to be asking them out next? We have wisdom. Wow. Okay, so this person could have a lot of wisdom to offer. I feel you guys have also been really expanding in your terms of your own wisdom as well. So there's been a lot of shifting happening for you. We have the world. This person is like, there's a real sense here of opening a new chapter though. So I do feel if you guys have found um, love unsatisfactory in the past, this person really wants to come in and change that. We have the King of Pentacles. So again, the King of Pentacles twice. So Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody very stable or committed. You also have the Three of Wands. I do feel like um, there's a lot of shifting about to happen for you guys, specifically for this group, within the next three months of watching this. A lot of shifting, holy smokes. We have the Two of Swords. I feel like you're going to be surprised at how quickly things happen. The Queen of Wands. You are in a very um, sexual and receptive energy, though. I do feel like some of you could just be focusing on yourself, focusing on creative pursuits. Maybe you do something creative for work. Somebody here could do music or be a model. Very attractive energy, though. Wow, okay, we got the Medusa card. Look at how cool that is. This Medusa card in this particular deck um, speaks of protection, okay? So I really do feel like Spirit is really protecting you here in terms of making your... Um, romantic choices here. 
So don't worry about making the wrong choice. You are heavily protected. Some of you have a very strong spiritual connection where you've been through a massive transformation. We have the two of pentacles. Beautiful. So again, we have the two of pentacles again. So there's definitely a feeling here of somebody being very much, um, there's a lot of shifting happening for you, okay? Or there's going to be two options here. You could be seeing two, two, two. You guys really are um, attracting quite a lot, though. I feel master manifester energy with this pile. Because, again, spirit keeps saying to me, go back to the drawing board. So you could just need to be tweaking what it is that you're wanting to create. What else, spirit, do we need to know, please? What else do we need to know about who's going to ask pile three out next? Wow, we have happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. You could be a water sign and this person could be an earth sign. Just look at those beautiful colors. I do feel like this person is wanting to offer you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, and a lot of fulfillment. Okay? You guys could also have a very strong spiritual connection, you and this person. We have freedom. I possess the power and the will, the free will to create my own happiness. Interesting, we have happiness twice. But I feel like you guys have really worked on... Um, Getting into that process of creation, really wanting to shift, wanting to grow, wanting to create a life that feels good for you. And now you're about to see a lot of the fruits of that, the fruits of your labor come out here. Tell me more, please, Spirit. Tell me more, please. Tell me more, please, about who's going to ask Pile 3 out next. We have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Okay, someone here in particular could feel guilty about uh, balancing multiple people. I am also hearing here someone could feel guilty about, you know, their, their sex life. And I really want to put that immediately to a close. Specifically, if you guys are in the state here of freedom or exploration, stop, 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 stop with the self-deprecating comments. Okay, one more. Success. I know that there's no greater goal than to love. I do feel like the strongest energy here, that King of Pentacles energy, um, this person does have a lot of success. They have a lot to offer. Like they are a very, very stable and committed type of energy. Can I get two light attributes, please, for Pile Three's person? Okay, one more. One, one, one more light attribute. Thank you. So we have Father, light attribute, talent for creating and supporting life. Positive guiding force within a tribal unit. Beautiful. So this person could have a, be a father, right? They could have children. Or I feel like this person has a lot of people who are looking up to them. This person might always have um, have a lot of energy that they need to give to others. People could consider this person quite significant or important. We have companion, light attributes, loyalty, tenacity, and unselfishness. So this person will really want to give to you quite a lot. I do feel like you and this person are a good match, is what Spirit's saying. What are two shadow attributes, please, for this person? Child nature, tendency to abuse animals, people, and the environment. So I just feel like this person, you know, might not really care about their carbon footprint. Although I don't, I by no, I'm by no means getting somebody who's like an abuser. I just feel this person really doesn't, takes advantage of nature more so than wants to like preserve. We have addict, mm, interesting shadow attributes. Compromises integrity and honesty. It allows an addictive pattern to have authority over your inner spirit. So this person could have addiction issues, okay? They could, they could be addicted here to their work. Um, this person could be a workaholic. Let's get some channeled messages. Tell me about Pile Three's person, please. No, Pile Three. Who's gonna ask Pile Three out next? Who's gonna ask Pile Three out next? Okay. Let's take a look. Okay, I want to make eye contact with you when you come. All right, so sexual energy here. This person really wanting to please you. I have a low sex drive. So again, this person could be really busy with work. They could be um, prioritizing that above everything else, including sex. 
I want you to be quiet. So this person, again, has some fantasies they want to act out here. I want to feel at one with you. I do feel for this person, this sex does have like a bit of a spiritual side. I want to spend every moment of every day with you. So this person could actually become addicted to you. Like they could be a person who is addicted to their partner. We have BDSM dominant. So this person could be a dom. They want to dominate you. I do feel like this person like um, is often in a position of control. Games are being played here. So again, someone around you could be more of a player. That could be that second energy I was picking up. When we lock eyes, you'll just know that it's me. There will be an instant recognition. Beautiful. So there is definitely a soul bond between you and this person. Oh my gosh, we have, I want you to dominate me. So I do feel this person is very sexually creative here with you. They would like to do quite a lot. Um, this person really does value that. So yes, my love, that is what I have for you, pile three. I hope that that resonated. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It does help my channel grow. I hope that wherever you are, you are having a wonderful day. Um, I really do appreciate you taking the time out to watch me. Um, yeah, we'll talk later. Bye, pile three.